Hello, you're with Dion at HD Piano, and today we're learning how to play That's Us by Anson Sebra. In this part one video, I'm going to play you through the intro and the verses of the song. And it sounds just like this. And one, two, three, four. So this is the intro. Now we're into the verse. So that is the intro and the first verse. I'm also going to cover the other verse in this song uh, a little later on. And of course, the rest of the parts are going to be at HD Piano if you're not already on the website right now. So this is a really beautiful song, but I have to start off by saying I have butchered some names of some artists here at HD Piano in my time, and I always get called out for it. Now, I've done some research but I can't find anywhere how to pronounce Anson's surname. Is it Sebra, Siabra? So please, Anson fans, educate me in the comments. Please let me know how to pronounce his name. I apologize if I've got it horribly wrong. Now, this song is really easy to play. And when I say really easy, I mean it. It's not just me saying it because I want you to keep watching. It's super, super simple. You might have noticed as I was playing through, there was lots of repetition with certain notes. And we're going to have a look at the right hand to begin with. Up here, just around middle C, middle C is right here. This whole section, the whole time, I was playing an F and I was playing a B flat. Those notes were constant. Every single thing, every single beat I played included those two notes in the right hand. Now I am using my second finger on the F and my fifth finger or my pinky on the B flat. That's going to let me add some other notes from time to time, including D or E flat. But the constant is always these two notes. And the right hand also plays a really steady rhythm. It just plays every single beat. One, two, three, four, and on and on it goes. Sometimes we'll add in that D. Sometimes we'll get rid of it. Sometimes we'll add in an E flat sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. I'm sure I'm saying sometimes a lot, but it is really just these two notes. So the majority of the action is going to be happening in the left hand and also in the interplay of the rhythm between those two hands. So the left hand, well, it is kind of following a, a pretty standard pattern that repeats throughout these sections as well. We start off by playing G. The second note we hit is an E flat. And then the third note we hit is a B flat. And we're playing variations of these three notes throughout the entire intro and the verse. Really, really simple. Now, there are some variations where we might play a higher B flat before playing a G, or we might, in the second verse, have a look at some other combinations as well. So it's really just these three notes. And sometimes we are putting in some little variations in order to spice things up a little bit. Rhythmically, across both hands, well, we said the right hand was playing on every beat. 
the left hand is always joining in on beat one. And then it often plays between the second and third beats. So on beat two and. So we would have one and two and three and four and we have this kind of bouncing back and forth of the left hand playing on the beat and then in between the beat. So most of the time, that's what our left hand is doing rhythmically. So now we're going to combine all those elements together and start changing those left hand notes while playing our right hand variations on our two note theme. So at the start of the intro, we are playing our G in our left hand and our F and our B flat in the right hand. And we're going to do two beats on the G with our rhythm before dropping down to E flat for two beats. So let's just do that first little measure. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's our first measure, and then we're going to land that with our left hand on B flat, and our right hand's going to add in this D. One, two, three, four, and one. Then we go back to our opening measure. So at the end of this B flat bar, we're doing a high B flat in the left hand, which then leads back down into the G. Those four bars were the intro. I'm going to take you through that one more time. One, two, three, four. Really, really simple. So now we're heading into the verse. And the verse follows the same basic pattern. We're just going to have a few little variations. So rather than me explaining every single little variation in minute detail, I'm going to cover them broadly with the knowledge that a human being played this on the piano originally. And when human beings do things, they often put in little variations without them knowing. And so sometimes that will result in things being a little bit different than the first time through or the second time through. So be kind to yourself. If you're playing this song mostly accurately, that's, I'm sure, as much as we can ask for you in a really repetitive song. So this verse is our G to our E flat, down to our B flat, with the difference here in that the right hand stops playing the D after the first beat. Now the pedal will be holding that note down though. So I'm using my sustain pedal here. So after that first hit, you can still hear that D ringing out even though I'm not playing it anymore. Back to the G, the E flat, and then the same thing, let the pedal hold that D. So this variation goes through twice. into the second half of the first verse. This is the first time we're now adding in an E flat in the right hand. And it makes sense that we would play that E flat in the right hand while we're playing E flat in the left hand. We're going to hit that E flat at the same time as our left hand E flat, but just that one time. Again, human beings playing piano do lots of interesting things. The rest of this verse, pretty straightforward, very much the same as the intro. And when we get to the end, we're going to hit that B flat chord in full and hold it for four beats. So that is the first verse. Now I'm going to play you through that same verse again in full right now, and I'm going to talk to you about the second verse and the little variations we have there. So here we go, first verse. One, two, three, four.
that E flat in the right hand. That's the first verse. The second verse, well, as we are like to do on when we're writing songs and playing piano, uh, sometimes we'll put in little small changes just to make things a little bit more compelling the second time through. So I'm going to play you through the second verse, see if you can spot the changes. Two, three, four. So did you spot those differences? There's not a lot that changes, but just a few little things. So basically, the right hand's doing things we have already done before, but we have a new variation in the left hand, which is when we hit the B flat chord, we're going to add in an F on top of our B flat. And that really just thickens things up quite a lot. So we'll see that a couple of times in that second verse. And the other variation that happens is usually after we've played this B flat chord, we're coming up via a high B flat down to our G. Now, after we've done the B flat and the F, we're heading to that G via F rather than that B flat. And then later on in that second verse, rather than coming at that G from a high B flat, we come from another low one. So they're all the variations in the second verse. Pretty simple, hey? So let's go through that second verse one more time at full speed. Now this is a song that's incredibly slow. It's about 65 beats per minute. So full speed is really what I've been playing through already. Uh, but let's have another play through this second verse. And one, two, three, four. That's it. Those are our two verses as well as the intro to the song. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then follow me over to hdpiano.com for the rest of this song. If you're already on hdpiano.com, then I'll see you in the next section. And while you're online, be sure to check out our socials at hdpiano and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel as well. My name is Dion and bye for now.